Hello, my friends and partners. My name is Alexander Stepanov. You know that last days getting together is very important. And I have created for you, just for you guys, the new format of video, which will help you a lot to improve your skills, to be the greatest nail technician, because we take the experience from different nail technicians from all over the world. We worked a lot to collect all this knowledge and give it to you. I hope you will appreciate it. My experience is about 10 years of day-to-day -day practice and I have tested all these methods on my work. Every week we get together on the same page on Sundays. But today we will ask the universe what kind of drill bit we should choose for gel removal. Well, actually we use two types of drill bits. The first one is ceramic, the second one is hard aloe steel drill bits. When we use a particular drill bit, I will tell later, but now I'm gonna teach you how to place the hands correctly. Just put your pinky or little finger on the other hand and every time you work with old tools and uh, sculpting nails, you should keep this finger on the hand and to, it will help you to work the maximum effective. And also I'm gonna show you how to remove the gel effectively and quickly. Look, I work my way without pressing it too much and I move it not on the same place, I'm changing the direction. Imagine that you are cleaning the potato or the other vegetable. You don't want to remove all the, all the potato skin, but at first you just try it. What is the product? Is it soft or hard? But after the next, the next way, you just make a little bit more pressure and this time you are removing the wall color cut. But you shouldn't remove the, um, the base gel, if this gel is in good condition. You just need to remove the color cut, but in some areas, in some areas, in some hidden places, you can leave the spots of the uh, old gel. You can uh, remove it using the simple nail file. And the main thing, guys, you should work only with the forward speed. The uh, direction of motions your drill bit should be strictly from up to down and from right to left in the middle of the nail. Sometimes some nail technicians uh, move the drill bit left and right, left and right, just to buff the nail using the drill bit. So you can do the same with the ceramic drill bit, for example. Uh, you are removing the main product and you are buffing the nail, just not to shape it too much with the drill bit. The common mistakes when we are experimenting with direction of our e-file. Sometimes we uh, touching the corner of the nail and when the drill bit is uh, twisting to the opposite way. So just uh, make some attention and let's uh, see on this situation. So we start from removing the gel correctly from up to down. The first, the first uh, phase of this removal is to touch the nail, remove uh, the top coat the second phase we are removing the color gel and we are working the correct way from up to down from up to down as you can see on the video we working with the corners using uh, only the tip after we are proceeding with the cuticle areas and we correctly working with the cuticle areas from right to left easily are removing the gel. We are keeping e-file vertically and it's correct, but we shouldn't touch the corners of the nail. Sometimes nail technicians starting hurrying and working quickly make some erratic motions, moving the e-file through the nail from different directions and suddenly they touch the corner of the nail and the drill bit beats the nail plate. I hope guys you will be removing the gel products strictly and correctly. And also you should examine the, your client's nails on the nail disease. And if your client for example has the fungus on her nail, you shouldn't make any gel products. Um, two main problems with the nails. The first one is the natural plate is lifted from the finger. 
the, the second reason when the natural nail plate turned, for example, green. This tells about the fungus or inflammation. The disinfectant and the rubbing alcohol, they are your main friends. You should uh, disinfect the client's hands, nails every time on before any phase of your work because this protects the nail plate from all that problems. In the next video I will give you the full instruction of sterilizing your tools and disinfection of your workplace. We just don't need to ask the universe about it. All nail technicians should have this as a rule. But the universe gave us the perfect life hack how to blind, how to blunt, blunt the uh, flame drill bit to save your clients from cutting. This is the genius. Because guys, when you order the special blunted uh, flame drill bit, it's a little bit blunted more than we expected and we can't uh, work with uh, with far places under cuticles, but in this case we easily work with a soft skin and easily uh, place this drill bead so far, so deep when we need to remove all the skin under the uh, proximal pads, lateral pads and the nail plate. The greatest invention of the technique were to work with the flame drill bit with opening the lateral pads and uh, not touching the nail plate. The most uh, common mistake of nail technicians when they are touching the nail plate and making the gape or the hole in these places. And this is the big mistake because we should work only with the skin and working only uh, like uh, putting this drill bit into the pocket and removing the skill from underneath from underneath under cuticles just try to uh, look how I work with this drill bit at first we are working from the upper side and keeping the e-file uh, vertically and after we keep the file uh, the same uh, vertically with the small corner and we don't touch the nail plate we just opening the pockets opening the prox uh, lateral pads and removing the skin like removing something uh, from the pocket remember guys those technique when we moved the drill bit along the cuticle line and now a lot of nail technicians say that this technique is dangerous especially for the beginners i am explaining why it is happening uh, now you see me working in these places sinus sinuses this is the main problem of the beginners they move a file and the drill bit along the cuticle and they easy cut the sinuses skin so to protect it to avoid these mistakes and these problems you should move your e-file with the different way imagine that the drill bit has the sharp tip and the belly the belly which is in the middle so we should work not with the sharp tip we should work with the skin using the belly as you can see on the video and this is the great trick we don't need to remove the pterygia from the nail plate from uh, right and left side walls we just need to remove the pterygia from the upper side in the upper area but from the left and the right side we mostly should work with the skin using the belly of the drill bit and that's all the secret all the secret of using only one drill bit only one diamond drill bit for applying all the manicure process you can clean the uh, side walls and uh, pads using the same drill bit and it's very easy but you should you, you should use two speeds of your drill machine the forward speed and the reverse speed this thing stays stable 
From the left side we are using the forward speed and from the right side we are using the reverse speed. All directions of our e-file are the same from both sides. And I'm using now the diamond, long diamond flame drill bit with two and a half diameter with the red line. And it's very important that we should use the soft drill bit. After working with the skin, we are removing the dust from the nail plate using the simple brush. This is the main life hack that every nail technician should know. You should protect your lateral pads from cutting and damaging and hurting by shaping nail by nail the way I'm doing it right now. So only this way you will make your nail file more safe and the corners will not be so sharp. So you should do it every time you start working with the new file. And the next method were learned by me about seven years ago and my teacher was Julia Belay and she teached me that we should shape the nail according to the strict scheme. At first we shape the length of the nail and we shape the length on each nail comparing one nail to the other. The middle nail should be a little bit longer than other nails. The pinky nail is shorter than other nails. One more hack for you guys. The client is looking on her nails from the opposite dot and you should reverse the hand and correct the shape from the other from the other side. Just be sure that it will seem for your client correct. The full scheme I will show you the next Sunday, but now I'm gonna tell you why buffering nails and using buffers are becoming more and more popular and more and more important. At first the buffer is the cheap thing, we're using it one time and we show our client that we're uh, throwing out after the process of the manicure. And you can use only one buffer without any files for the simple uh, shape of the nail. It's perfectly lifting up particles in the cuticles area for protecting from liftings, as I told before in my videos. So. It's very important thing for us and we just need to use it as often as we can. We, you just can imagine uh, how the buffer is perfect. Uh, one time I used it as uh, instead of file and I have applied the perfect square shape of the nail and the shape was very flat and clean and perfect. So you, the universe answers the question how to prepare nails uh, for not to shaping them thereafter. So I think using the buffer for preparing nails phases and using um, self arrangement base cuts and top cuts and to do everything correctly will save your time and you will, now, you will not have to shape nails after preparing them. Just take a look on these nails. They have buffered a lot and they have the natural arches. They are smooth and clean. Why can't we just cover them uh, with the base cut and with the top cut and with the color with the safe arranged layer and we don't have to shape them anymore. And of course, guys, this is not enough. There are a lot of details so we, we should apply to make the ideal manicure and the ideal cut. Of course, the removal of dusting is very important. And we're using now the lint-free wipes and the wood stick. This tool will help us to remove the old dust on the cuticles. And I can open the secret, guys, that this method is new in my work and I'm happy that um, I changed my way of working and this uh, helps me to place product very smooth way and clean way because the dust which is under cuticles, the dust is the main enemy for us. 
we just need to remove it before placing the product. And one more thing that is also important for placing product is the ideal cuticle removal. And as you know guys, no one jewel bead can easily remove the wet and thin skin. That's why we are using the cutters. You should understand guys that the cutting line, uh, this line should be smooth and we can achieve this smooth line only using the professional cutter for cuticles. Uh, there are two types of cutters, special scissors for cuticles and special tweezers for cuticles. You should keep your tool at the right angle and you should cut overlap. I mean the previous cut should be covered by the next cut. And of course the direction of moving your scissors should be the same. If you are starting from the right angle you should finish at the same right angle. Then this is very important because you want to achieve the correct and smooth cut. Only this way we can apply the ideal manicure. Just take a look again. I'm starting from the right angle and I'm working only with the corner of my scissors. I'm not trying to divide the skin on different pieces. I'm trying to cut it in one piece and I'm cutting it overlap. When you are finishing you can twist the scissors on the 45 degrees angle. Just brush off the skin and if you see there are some pieces on cuticles, remaining pieces, we can repeat it again and remove the skin again. But you shouldn't do it fanatically, because if you cut very close to capillaries, this way the skin is bleeding and it will spoil your work. And I think that this is the best way to differ one client from another. For example, for a client with the soft wet skin, we, we should use one technique. This technique I'm showing right now, when we are using soft diamond drill bead and when we are using uh, scissors and we don't cut too much and too deep. And for other clients we can use diamond drill beads with um, the harder processing and uh, we can cut using the same scissors or tweezers much faster without afraiding of cut your client somewhere because the client skin is uh, hard and the capillaries are not so close to the upper side of the skin. As you can see guys I'm working now with a thumbnail and I'm gonna show you how to apply nails extensions in this video, not only the info of gel nails. And I'm gonna show you how to proceed with the manicure using the drill bead. As you can see the cuticle is already removed with the scissors or you may use the tweezers. This is the new tool for removing manicure which is a very effective tool. And after we can use the, uh, the same diamond flame drill bead with the soft processing and we should just apply the fine buffering of cuticles. Uh, if you have some remaining piece of the skin, as you can see on the video, it's not need to remove it using the diamond drill bit. You can, you can take again the scissors and remove it using the scissors. And after we are continue processing with the diamond drill bit and buffering the cuticle line on each nail with the forward speed from the left side and with the reverse speed from the right side, as you can see on the video. And we don't touch the nail plate as before. We just um, work him in this pocket and we just opening the sinuses. And I'm glad that in this video you have learned 
that we can work with sinuses not using the tip of or corner of the drill bit which is sharp we are working with the belly the middle side of our diamond drill bit we are removing the skin or buffering the skin on the second phase as you can see on the video using the belly of drill bit and we are proceeding with the rubbing alcohol and the wipe again we are removing the dust again and again and it also helps us to disinfect the nail as you can see after removing the dust we have some remaining pieces of skin and we again take the scissors or tweezers and removing these pieces because the wipe with the rubbing alcohol helped us to see those remaining pieces of skin as I told before in my previous videos, the primer is the most important thing in our work and those nail technicians who don't apply the primer bef be before the gel or before gel polish, they make mistake because you should use the special uh, gel primer or, or the bond primer, no matter, these primers work as double-sided scotch tape. To notice that this is it the layer after primering should be a little bit sticky that shows that you have the primer which works like double sided scotch tape and we are using nail plate arrangement this technique is very important why? just because you can do nails quickly on the first phases you have removed the gel used the buffer, the file and prepared it uh, smoothly perfectly after that you just need to apply the coat of the base gel it will be arranged with reversing the handle as, as you can see on the video and this is it the nail plate is smooth and shining this is in great condition we can do the same process on the each coat for the base coat for the color cut we can also apply the arrangement Re reversing or twisting the hand of our client this helps us the helps helps product to be arranged perfectly and quickly after that you quickly reverse the hand back look on the result if the result is perfect you can uh, quickly place the hand into the LED lamp and this is it as a matter in fact guys this technique is not so young because 10 years ago when I was starting my career we were trained uh, the same way we reversed hand of our client but we work not with the base gels with the base cuts we work with a simple one phase gel and th those gels those products were the same uh, self-arranged maybe not so good in alleging like products we have now but we could work the same way and uh, we can also work with the camouflage product the builder camouflage gel using the same technique and i'm gonna show you guys right now how to work with all nails simultaneously i will sculpt nail by nail with the camouflage but i will not place hand in the lead lamp before all nails will be sculpted this technique will help us to apply the arrangement quickly on all, on all four nails. As you know, the nail plate has the body temperature and this temperature is heating the gel. The gel is becoming more liquid and uh, this helps it to be arranged faster. So we just applied the gel on the one nail we re reverse the hand and we are taking the next drop from the bottle after we are reversing the hand apply the gel on the other nail and uh, we are trying to remove the flow the gel to the side walls and place it right on the top and you know this technique is very old um, the professional who were worked in the russian nail studios and they had to apply a lot of clients a day they used this technique and i was in shock when i saw the first time those masters who work the same the same way and it was amazing i just
just couldn't imagine how it was possible because uh, when I was trying to do it the gel was always flowing on the sidewalls but to do it you should feel perfectly your product you should feel when you should place more product or when you should should place l less product and the best advice for you is to use the same product for the long time this way you will feel this product and uh, you will do everything quickly and of course you should be careful and to look on all nails simultaneously the control the drop and the alleging process so you should add some product when uh, you you notice that there is a gap in some area and quickly reverse hand again until you have the smooth and perfect glares on each nail and you look that everything is perfect so we have two ways of sculpting nails the first one when we need to shape them the second one when we don't need to shape them at all uh, the first one in this case you can place the gel even using the left leg this was the Russian joke it means that you can you can place with erratic motions and without making uh, <laughs> efforts. In, in this case, you will have to shape it anyway. <laughs> because there will be a lot of um, uh, not smooth places uh, and uh, mountains, bulky areas. So we have to shape it. In the other case, the other way when we, when we don't shape nails. In this case, uh, we are placing the gel uh, very neatly using this technique I'm showing you in this video. And of course, guys, we can sculpt the nail using the same technique uh, to minima minimize, to make it less, to make less shaping. Uh, I mean, we should place the gel very neatly and uh, don't rush. We, and we can apply everything using the sculpted, sculpting gel. For example, the camouflage sculpting gel. The perfect uh, hack for you is to mix the camouflage gel with the clear gel. In this case, the gel will be cured much faster because the UV light, lights penetrate better into the depth of the gel products and I'm showing you the correct way and the perfect way for sculpting um, sculpting nails and as you can see we have applied the layer on the length of the nail and we're placing the next layer which is the builder as you can see I'm placing the large drop in the cuticles area and trying to <laughs> play with it something like playing with it but we uh, saving we're saving the large amount on the vertical vertical line uh, the vertical top line of the nail but from the uh, sides of the nail we are placing less product after that we are reversing hand as you can see we're trying to um, we're helping this product to be arranged and the camouflage gels as we have uh, they are perfect in alleging and uh, it's easy to work with them after curing in one minute in lead lamp um, we are removing the tacky layer from all nails and this is it we actually uh, don't need to shape them at all they are perfect uh, but you can if you are the perfectionist, you can shape these nails and make the shape the more ideal shape for them. And what about the nail we have sculpted? It has the perfect shape already. We just need to shape the length and sidewalls. Of course, guys, it depends on the nail technician. Some of nail technicians even don't shape the, uh, the top uh, the top of the nail. They only shape, as you can see, 
on the video they only shape sidewalls and the lane but I'm not like others I prefer uh, the graceful shapes and anyway I will shape nails from the top as you can see on the video but I know that 90 persons of nail technicians in Russia they don't shape from from top at all from the one hand this is because they prepare nails to the perfection on the first phases as you saw on the beginning the second uh, reason they are using the perfect base cuts and the third reason this is the main reason um, just because nails are short it's much easier to apply nails without shaping when nails are short and of course if the nail has the length about one half of centimeter it's enough for shaping them just because it looks bulky just imagine you have applied the base coat the camouflage gel the color coat and the top coat and you have the square shape of the nail uh, in this case the nail uh, becomes bulky to the on the length and uh, some clients don't like it some clients prefer graceful and uh, thin corner of the nail and uh, when nail is looking so elegant so graceful um, in this case in this case you should you should anyway shape shape nails but if some clients uh, agree to have um, a little bit bulky nail so you can leave this face and don't shape them just start doing the nail design because the top of the nail is uh, uh, smooth enough and the next phase which nail technicians use not to do because some some of them are so lazy some of them save their time some of them think that it's uh, enough good for nails uh, this is the removing the gel from underneath of the nail plate uh, this is very important because the natural nail can be lifted from the nail plate from underneath and this is the common mistake and uh, we should also do it using applying the infill of gel nails especially on of gel nails and uh, this is this shows the your professionalism and if you do this work if you make nails uh, thinner and looking beautiful protect it, protect them from liftings from underneath removing the natural nail from underneath this makes you the great nail technician and the first mistake which nail technicians uh, sometimes do uh, as we, you can see now on the video we have something like the crack from the left side of the nail and uh, you should always fix this, um, these cracks uh, these cracks happen uh, because um, we shape too much from this side we try to make thinner side and uh, make them more elegant but uh, we tried hard we over tried <laughs> and uh, removed too much product if it happens um, you should always to apply should always apply the safe coat the next coat of uh, the camouflage gel and or the sculpted gel in my case I'm using the camouflage gel to protect nails from breaking uh, and if you don't do it the nail will be anyway broken uh, in a week or more uh, because uh, we have the stress zone in this area and uh, to protect them we should apply the wider layer after curing the layer in one minute we also need to shape the nail but not too much and these small details which you should know they are like uh, small drops in the river of your um, great knowledge and this knowledge will help you to be the great nail technician so guys the first part is over because we have prepared nails for the nail design and now you can watch the second part the nail design and the top cut and as you can see I'm buffering nails as perfect as I can this is needed because this way the French manicure will be applied better as you can see guys um, I'm starting 
shaping the length of the nail to prepare them from the French manicure and suddenly I noticed that we, uh, the client has broken the, the corner of the nail and in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix it but the main thing we sh you should do is to remove the oil and the water from the nail plate and using rubbing alcohol I'm cleaning the nail plate perfectly after I'm shaping this corner to make the uh, f the flat area and adhesion of uh, the product of the clear gel which I will be using now will be much better um, so the next tip to use only the clear gel which is fake the clear gel has no pigment that's why the adhesion of this product is much better you know guys I watched tutorial where, where um, the nail technician showed how she applied the nail extension this way step by step placing the small amount of product on the corner of the nail it was so lazy just imagine if you are applying such small drops on the nail and on each nail this is crazy I think that this is not good to troll this is this something like uh, <laughs> the nonsense but for um, for scalping the corner of the nail I think this technique is great so I took this uh, life hack and decided to place it in the universe secrets I hope you will like it and you will use this technique in your day-to-day -day practice by the way guys we cured each layer in 15 seconds and after we cured uh, the final layer about minute or less uh, we have removed the tacky layer and using the file we are working with these nails and creating the perfect shape, removing the mountains from left side and um, buffering it with the buffer. And you guys also may think that I'm crazy nail technician because I have applied the ideal uh, shape using the self-aligned uh, self products and now I'm going to shape them anyway. Maybe this is the old school, but some old style nail technicians anyway will be shaping nails no matter what kind of product they use, no matter that the layer is perfect enough, uh, if someone thinks that it's not need to shape them, but we anyway will be apply the shaping, because we are the perfectionists and um, of course it works with the long shaped nails. But anyway guys, I have shown you uh, how to apply the arrangement of the nail plate um, and not to shape them and now I'm showing you the other way of working with these nails. For example, if you need to make the length of one nail shorter uh, in some cases. But uh, the nail is becoming bulky and you should anyway shape, shape it. So I think that uh, making nails without shaping it's for the professionals who train her hands a lot and work especially with the short, short nails and with gel polish. And guys, I'm doing now the cleaning of my drill bit. I turned on my electric file and um, cleaning the drill bit using the brush. Of course you need from time to time warm it with the rubbing alcohol and again turn it on and uh, brushing this drill bit it helps as you can see it helps perfectly remove the uh, the product especially when you are trying to remove gel from underneath and the gel is wet your drill bit is quickly becoming dirty and uh, now I'm working with this drill bit it's clean enough and it works faster than before and uh, removing the dirt and old gel from underneath of the nail plate. The gel was white. Sometimes guys when we are removing the dirt the drill bit is running out from us and uh, ruin the nail from the top side. Mm. I will definitely make the video to show you how to fix it quickly and some nail technicians even don't remove the tacky layer from upper side of the nail plate if the, the drill bit is running it uh, saves from uh, scratch scratches I haven't tried this life, life hack before but I think that this life hack maybe bring you the allergy because 
you will touch the nail plate which has the tacky layer the, the tacky layer is allergic enough and it's better always remove this layer and you know the new knowledge not always um, useful sometimes it brings some problems but some life hacks are very useful for us as the life hack I learned about eight years ago from the famous nail technician uh, before I thought that the cutting the brush hair it's uh, stupidly we can't ruin the structure of the brush but uh, when she showed me how she cut the brush hair to make it thinner it was the revolution for me because I started making thinner each my brush and my paintings became uh, more beautiful I didn't need to uh, try it hard to make the thin line because my brush easily drew the beautiful compositions and of course the French manicure as you can see it's much easier to draw French manicure with already prepared brush I know that there are already thin brushes on the internet shops uh, but I used to work with my favorite brushes which I made by myself using the scissors and cut it the hair um, I think that it's something like my um, handmade product which uh, helps me to make my work much better much faster I feel my brush this way um, better and as you can see I'm just drawing the French manicure drawing the smile line at first I'm drawing the smile from the left to the center after I'm using the same cutted brush from the center to the right side of course if you are the beginner you will have a lot of problems with it because the French manicure likes maybe loves the training day by day training for example guys I had a vacation and after returning at home and started working with my clients my first French manicures were not so accurate I just try, I just spent more time to correct these lines and as in this video I'm not so good as was before for drawing this French manicure maybe some years ago when I had much more clients I just applied this uh, process in just seconds you you can uh, watch my previous videos old videos and you can see that so I can see that it depends on practice we don't have bad nail technicians we had low practice for some nail technicians and um, what can I advise you in these cases guys the first my advice you should apply thin layers of the gel paint because it's maximum pigmented if you place too much product there will be uh, bubbles and uh, the second uh, thing you shouldn't draw so cute smile line it's much better to draw um, straight line for the first time and maybe you should make the next French the next by next the curve line should be more should has more degrees and uh, after the long time training you will be able to draw uh, so cured French lines I think it should be symmetric and uh, should be symmetry be between the cuticle line and uh, between the smile line some nail technicians even think that the symmetry should be always between these two lines but I think this is not correct because in 50 persons we have uh, the cuticle line like a square we shouldn't draw the square shaped manicure it's stupidly I think for example in this case uh, the cuticle line something like this the, the square it seems like the square but I'm drawing the smile line like the circle and it gives more graceful effect for um, for this nail as you can see the flat brush helps me to cover the length of the nail and I have applied two layers and curved each layer in one minute in lead lamp and uh, this is it the French manicure is ready so guys the next trick for you is applying the ideal glare what is this the main thing in this technique 
we're applying the layer of the top coat at first the thin layer and after we place the drop on the center of the nail and neatly flatten moving the drop up and down reverse the hand rever reverting it back and um, we should control the drop if it's flowing we help it to come back with the brush until we have the ideal blinks so this is the main trick of this technique don't forget to cover the corners of the nail with the top coat and after curing each layer in one minute in lead lamp we are removing the tacky layer and if the top coat has no tacky layer we don't remove anything we're just starting to cleaning pads and shaping sidewalls from floated gel because always we have some floated gel from the sidewalls no matter what technique we use so guys it's time for revealing shots just take a look how smooth clean neat and beautiful nails we have now the french manicure now is more popular than before a lot of clients want to have such neat beautiful manicure and the natural looking nail plate so beautiful and as for me I'm a man and I would love to see my wife only with this nail design all my life. And I know guys you have a lot of questions about products that are used in this work. And now I'm gonna tell you about it. I have collected here on the page of this course all products I used to make these beautiful nails. I choose something between the democratic prices and high quality. This special kit costs not over $60. You will be satisfied with every product from this line because I work with the same products. It's so easy to add all these amazing products into your cart and if you make order today we guarantee free shipping and the customer protection. That means you will receive your products very soon and you will do gel nails the same way like I do. I wish you good luck guys and have a good day. I love you!